The Mudabarasaurus, an iconic dinosaur from the ancient landscapes of Australia, roamed the Earth during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 100 million years ago. Discovered near the town of Mudabara in Queensland, this dinosaur is one of the best known Australian dinosaurs and has captured the fascination of paleontologists and the public alike. Named after its discovery location, Mudabarasaurus offers a glimpse into the rich and diverse prehistoric ecosystems of Australia. Mudabarasaurus langdoni, its full scientific name, was a medium-sized herbivorous dinosaur, measuring about 7 to 8 metres or 23 to 26 feet in length, and weighing approximately 2.8 metric tonnes. This dinosaur was a member of the Iguanodontidae family, known for their robust builds and versatile feeding habits. One of the most distinctive features of Mudabarasaurus was its skull, characterised by a large bulbous nasal structure that has been the subject of much debate among paleontologists. The skull of Mudabarasaurus was roughly 60 centimetres long, with a prominent dome-shaped nasal cavity. This unique nasal structure is believed to have been used for resonating sounds, possibly for communicating or mating calls. The large nasal cavity might have also played a role in regulating the dinosaur's body temperature, helping it to stay cool in the warm, humid climate of early Cretaceous Australia. The dinosaur's snout was elongated, with a beak-like mouth suitable for cropping vegetation, and it possessed large, powerful jaws that could accommodate a variety of plant material. Mudabarasaurus had strong, muscular hind legs that allowed it to move efficiently, likely both bipedally and quadrupedally. This adaptability and locomotion would have been advantageous in navigating the diverse landscapes of its environment, from open plains to dense forests. Its forelimbs were shorter but still robust, suggesting that Mudabarasaurus could drop to all fours when feeding or to support its body while moving slowly. The dinosaur's tail was long and muscular, providing balance and possibly being used as a counterbalance while foraging on two legs. As a herbivore, Mudabarasaurus primarily fed on the lush vegetation that was abundant in its environment. During the early Cretaceous, Australia was part of the supercontinent Gondwana, which was characterised by a warm, humid climate and a diverse range of plant life. Mudabarasaurus would have had access to a variety of plant species, including ferns, cycads, conifers and early flowering plants. Its beak-like mouth was well suited for cropping vegetation close to the ground, while its strong jaws and teeth allowed it to process tough, fibrous plant material. The dentition of Mudabarasaurus was somewhat unusual compared to other herbivorous dinosaurs. It had a combination of leaf-shaped teeth at the back of its jaw and a broad, flat beak at the front. This arrangement suggests that Mudabarasaurus was a versatile feeder, capable of processing a wide range of plant material. The beak would have been effective for cropping soft vegetation, while the leaf-shaped teeth could handle tougher, more fibrous plants. This adaptability in feeding habits would have been a significant advantage, allowing Mudabarasaurus to exploit different food sources and adapt to changes in its environment. One of the more intriguing aspects of Mudabarasaurus's feeding habits is the possibility that it could process food in a manner similar to modern herbivorous mammals. Some paleontologists believe that the large nasal cavity and complex jaw structure of Mudabarasaurus could have supported cheek-like structures, allowing it to hold and manipulate food while chewing. This would have made Mudabarasaurus one of the few dinosaurs capable of mastication, or chewing food, rather than simply gulping it down. Such a feeding strategy would have enabled Mudabarasaurus to extract maximum nutritional value from its food, supporting its large body size and active lifestyle. Living in a world full of predators, Mudabarasaurus had to rely on various defense mechanisms to survive. While it was not heavily armored like some other herbivorous dinosaurs, such as the Ankylosaurs, Mudabarasaurus was not defenseless. Its size alone would have been a deterrent to smaller predators, and its powerful hind legs could have been used to deliver strong kicks if threatened. Additionally, the long muscular tail could have been employed as a whip-like weapon, capable of delivering painful blows to would-be attackers. The social behavior of Mudabarasaurus might have also played a role in its defense. Although there is no direct evidence to suggest that Mudabarasaurus lived in herds, as some other herbivorous dinosaurs did, it is possible that these dinosaurs formed loose groups, particularly during certain times of the year, such as breeding seasons or when raising young. Living in groups would have provided additional protection against predators, as there is safety in numbers. A group of Mudabarasaurus could have used their combined strength to fend off attackers or warn each other of approaching danger. 
The prominent nasal structure of Mudabarasaurus might have also played a role in its defence. If, as some paleontologists suggest, this structure was used for resonating sounds, it could have been an effective means of communication, allowing Mudabarasaurus to issue warning calls or coordinate movements within a group. Loud resonant calls could have startled predators, or alerted other members of the group to the presence of danger, giving them time to flee or prepare for defence. Mudabarasaurus lived during a time when Australia was still connected to Antarctica and part of the supercontinent Gondwana. The climate was warmer and more humid than it is today, and the landscape was dominated by dense forests, rivers and open plains, providing a rich and diverse food source for herbivorous dinosaurs like Mudabarasaurus. The presence of large rivers and floodplains suggests that Mudabarasaurus would have had access to ample water sources, which would have supported large populations of herbivores. These lush environments would have been teeming with life, from small mammals and reptiles to other species of dinosaurs. Predatory dinosaurs such as the Australovenator shared these habitats, creating a complex and dynamic ecosystem where predator-prey interactions shaped the behaviours and adaptations of all inhabitants. While there is limited direct evidence about the reproduction and life cycle of Mudabarasaurus, insights can be drawn from related dinosaur species. Mudabarasaurus, like other ornithopods, likely laid eggs and nesting sites would have been established in safe secluded areas, possibly near water sources or in dense vegetation that could provide cover from predators. After hatching, the young Mudabarasaurus would have been vulnerable to predation, relying on their parents or the safety of the group for protection. Juvenile Mudabarasaurus would have grown rapidly, taking advantage of the abundant vegetation and warm climate. The ability to move both bipedally and quadrupedally would have allowed young dinosaurs to forage efficiently while maintaining mobility. As they grew, their feeding habits and defence mechanisms would have developed, enabling them to take on more challenging plant material and fend off predators. The discovery of Mudabarasaurus in the 20th century has significantly contributed to our understanding of Australia's prehistoric past. It was one of the first dinosaurs discovered in Australia, and its unique features have provided valuable insights into the diversity and evolution of ornithopod dinosaurs. The large nasal structure of Mudabarasaurus has sparked debates and inspired further research into the anatomy and behaviour of herbivorous dinosaurs, highlighting the complex adaptations these animals developed to thrive in their environments. Mudabarasaurus has also become a symbol of Australia's rich paleontological heritage. Fossils of this dinosaur are displayed in museums, and it is featured in educational programs and exhibitions that aim to engage the public with the science of paleontology. The story of Mudabarasaurus serves as a reminder of the ever-changing nature of life on Earth and the incredible creatures that once roamed the ancient landscapes of Australia. Mudabarasaurus stands out as a fascinating example of the diverse and complex ecosystems that existed in prehistoric Australia. Its unique physical characteristics, adaptable feeding habits, and potential defence mechanisms paint a picture of a resilient herbivore, capable of thriving in a world filled with challenges and predators. As paleontologists continue to study the fossils of Mudabarasaurus and other Australian dinosaurs, we gain a deeper understanding of the evolutionary history and ecological dynamics that shaped the ancient world, offering valuable insights into the processes that have shaped life on Earth. If you like this video, consider liking it and sharing it around. Consider subscribing to the channel for more fascinating insights into the many animals that once called Earth home. And as always, thanks for watching.